Hi, I'm Anastasia. In this video, we are going to do cube nails. Coming up. I will need hollow rhinestones of different size and shape, gel plate blingon by Accents to secure rhinestones, Swarovski SS3 crystals, pickup tool by Crystal Katana to apply rhinestones, and for the color I will be using yellow neon by Nail Liquor and Valentino nude color. I already prepped the nail, fit the form, apply dehydrator and primer, and first I do the nail bed. For this shape I think it is better to do a very long nail bed with a narrow dramatic smile line. Then it is time to do the free edge and I am using only neon yellow color and nothing else. So you need to build parallel sidewalls and the free edge should look like a square, but it also have to have these angles on the sides. Then I pinch the nail, remove the form, pinch it again. And when filing, it is very important, do not file like you usually do in these curved motions, as we will simply create the rounded almond shape, and we don't want that. This is what we need, two angles on the nail. So when you're applying the top coat, it is very important not to apply it the regular way. You need to apply it on the one side first, then on the other side, and only after that apply it in the middle. So I figure out that if you will apply it like you usually do, take a huge drop and apply it all the way from the cuticle towards the free edge, as the result we will get a nail that looks more like pipe or a Russian almond shape. It's not really a cube nail anymore. Also do not apply too much of the top coat. Try to keep this layer thick enough so the surface will be shiny but still relatively thin. And on the other nails I do the same, apply it on the sides first and then on the middle. As you probably noticed, I kept the inner C-curve, it's still rounded, so basically I created these angles by building more product right on top. I think this is the best way to achieve this cube nail look and also keep the structure of the nail so they will be long-lasting and wearable. Then I apply the top coat on the next nail. Make sure you apply it all over, sometimes it might be tricky with this shape. And then we need to fully cure it in LED lamp for 30 seconds. Now it's time to decorate them. I'm using gel plate bling on and with a small brush I apply the line that follows the smile line. And after that we are going to apply some crystals. I will also add a big one here in the center. So I follow the line of the smile line, but it is curved a little and I want to outline the shape that it's cube. So I will try to do straight lines. I think it will look much better rather than we try to do this curved line. Put this big rhinestone in the center, fix them how you would like them to look, cure in LED and here we go, cube shape. I decorated thumb and middle finger. So this is how the final result looks like outside. And when you switch the lights off and turn the UV on, this is how they are gonna glow. Let me guys know what do you think. I personally had so much fun doing this shape. Is this something you would like to try for your nails or maybe your client's nails? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials every week. See you in my next one. Bye-bye.